growing health concern is the number of concussions football players sustain during a season. This head trauma can have long-lasting side effects and is not always detectable by the player at the time of impact. Several people are working on ways to accurately measure the force of a hit, including two students right here in Middle Tennessee. My name is Faith and I'm in fifth grade and I go to John Pitter Elementary School. Hi, my name is Maya and I'm in fifth grade and I go to John Pitter Elementary School. We went to the statewide STEM conference and our project was to help like football players like to know their concussions and to see if they should continue playing into the game. While the girls were discussing ideas for their project, a news story gave them some inspiration. So we read about this story on the news about a football player from the Miami Dolphins that recently got an injury on his head um, from a concussion from getting a really impact force from another football player. So we came up with a way to measure the force when the football player gets a attacked by another football player. So we were talking and then we came up with this idea on we should put sensors inside the helmets to track their concussions. And then we started doing research about concussions. So when we did our research, we found that some of the symptoms of having a concussion could be forgetting that you have a concussion, memory loss, nausea, and confusion. So we did some research about like how often football players have concussions, and surprisingly, it was a lot. And then after that, we started like doing the drawing on how we want it to look, and we did, and then we started like making changes to it. Then after that, we wrote our thing to enter into the competition. After we finished doing that, we made a few more changes to the sensors and to like the drawing to make it look better. So where all the tape is and where Maya's pointing is where we wanted to put the sensors, like all around the head because if the sensors are right here and they got hit over here, we won't know where they got hit. So we decided to put it all around the helmet and all the data will go to the coaches and the nurses. The sensors work by sending information to the coaches or the nurses about how hard that they got hit. It doesn't only measure the force of the helmet to the helmet, it also measures the force of when the player hits the ground. The data from the sensors gets sent to the coaches and the nurses and it's on a scale of 1 to 10, from 10 being the highest and 1 being the lowest. Like if it's a 1 through 4, they could miss out the rest of the game and get more x-rays about what's happening to their school. But if it's a five and higher, they shouldn't play for the rest of the season or play for the next couple of games. The girls submitted their project proposal and soon afterward were notified that they were chosen as state finalists. So we went to Nashville at the Titan Stadium where we presented our project to groups of scientists and teachers. All the scientists and teachers that came up to our project uh, were really amazed at what we created and then they had a lot of interesting questions. A lot of them were amazed on what grade we were. When we presented it afterwards, they were like, wow, because we were like in fifth grade and we came up with all of this. And they said that it was a really good idea. After the competition, the girls learned that a group from Columbia University was working with a company in Chicago on a similar design. So we had a company um, email us from Chicago that created something similar to our idea. And they were really impressed about how we're in fifth grade and they're all the way in Chicago and made something similar to ours. The girls want to continue working on their design and hope to find someone who can help them develop a working prototype. So one day these young girls might be part of helping prevent long-term effects from concussions. For City TV, I'm John Padgett.